Hey, how's it going and welcome back to Consuming Cinema, a show about making and pairing food and drinks from popular movies and TV shows. Today, to celebrate Thanksgiving, we're making a pairing that's going to be legend, wait for it, and I hope you're not lactose intolerant because the second half of that word is dairy. Legendary. That's right, because today we're making a thanks teeny with the Erickson Family 7 Layer Salad from How I Met Your Mother. If you haven't seen How I Met Your Mother, it's a CBS sitcom created by Carter Bays and Craig Thomas, which first premiered in 2005 and ran for nine seasons, which follows Ted Evelyn Mosby, a self-involved architect and hopeless romantic who, 25 years in the future, tells his two children the rather long-winded tale of, of course, how he met their mother. In his many adventures around New York City, alongside his four best friends, suit-wearing Lothario Barney Stinson, Canadian news reporter Robin Scherbatsky, as well as college sweethearts Lily Aldrin and Marshall Erickson, who in Season 1, Episode 9, visit Marshall's hometown of St. Cloud, Minnesota for Thanksgiving. And there, Marshall's mom shows Lily how to make a beloved family recipe. Now that you're you're going to be a Mrs. Erickson. I'm going to let you in on a secret recipe. The Erickson family seven layer <laughs> salad. Seven layer salad? Six cups of mayonnaise? That can't be right. Oh no dear, 16 cups. Other than the mayo, the ingredients of which are somewhat unclear, aside from a few. I finished the gummy bear layer of the salad. What's next? Chips. That was until property master David Baker revealed to BuzzFeed the actual seven layers of the salad, which are guacamole, bacon bits, shredded carrots, shredded purple cabbage, funyuns, gummy bears, and finally, potato chips. But what to pair with this... this, um salad. Well, while the Ericsons prefer a nice glass of milk, earlier in the episode, both Lily and Ted are hung over from how much they drank the night before. Not how much. What? The Thanks Teeny, a fun and delicious new novelty drink I invented. Cranberry juice, potato vodka, and a bouillon cube. Tastes just like a turkey dinner. Mm. It's like Thanksgiving in my mouth. But before we make our Thanks Teeny, we first have to start our seven layer salad, which begins in this trifle dish, which is used to make a trifle, a type of layered dessert that may be familiar to some from another popular sitcom. It's a trifle, and it's got all of these layers. Then into this trifle dish, we'll start our first layer, guacamole. And the guacamole recipe I like to make is basically the same as Chipotle's guac, which starts in a bowl. Hmm, that sounded kind of funny when I said it. Bowl, bowl, bowl. Bowl? Bowl. 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 And into this bowl, we will add a few avocados, which should be nice and ripe, from which you should remove the pit like so, before then scoring the inside and then scooping out the avocado into the bowl. And simply repeat this process with your other avocados before then smashing them up with a potato masher. Next, we're gonna add a bit of diced red onion, followed by some diced jalapeno, as well as some chopped cilantro, and finally, a little bit of lime juice. And now we're just gonna mix this all together and and there you have it, some delicious guacamole, which is probably the most delicious thing we'll actually make all episode. And now it's time to make the first layer of our salad. So we're gonna take a big old spoonful of that guacamole and begin to spread it out along the bottom of the trifle dish. And then simply grab another spoonful and spread the guac around some more. And once your guac layer is all even, it's time to start our first layer of mayonnaise, which while I won't be using the full 16 cups, I will be using 12 cups. I'm also not feeding a family of Ericsons. I additionally decided to make a makeshift piping bag to layer the mayonnaise, because scooping the mayo didn't seem as precise. <laughs> you wanna scoop your first day out? Hello, NFL, can I be quarterback this Sunday? Dude. So now we're just gonna pipe a nice even layer of this mayonnaise on top of the guacamole, and once you get a nice even layer, we're then going to use an icing spatula to spread this mayo as evenly as possible all over the guacamole. But to be honest, as we saw in our Django Unchained episode, Episode, I'm not very good with an icing spatula, so thankfully Bailey was able to step in and take over. Yes, I did, and I could definitely criticize your icing skills, but it's Thanksgiving, and it's not the time to put anyone down. Uh, 
Thanks, Bailey. Uh, yeah, as you can see, Bailey really did do a fantastic job of spreading this mayonnaise. Then, once your first layer of mayonnaise is nice and even, we are going to start our bacon bit layer. So, simply sprinkle the bacon bits all over the layer of mayo. While these bacon bits might not be as good as regular bacon, they would still probably be enough to impress Ted. I have seen the face of God. Then, once you've used up all of your bacon bits, it's time to start our next layer of mayonnaise. So, we're gonna continue piping our mayonnaise all over the bacon, and then once again spread out that mayonnaise evenly with an icing spatula. If you didn't know, there are actual real life seven layer salads, which, while not quite as over the top as the Ericsson's, are actually quite common in the Midwest. Now, for our next layer, we're gonna need some shredded carrots, which, like we've done with our other layers, we'll do by sprinkling all over the mayo as evenly as possible. Then, after our carrot layer, it is of course time, once again, for another layer of mayonnaise, which we'll pipe on, and if I don't say so myself, I think I did a lot better of job piping this time. And after we spread that mayonnaise out evenly like we've done in the previous layers, we are then going to start our shredded cabbage layer. So we'll sprinkle that beautiful purple cabbage all over that mayonnaise, knowing full well that this will be the last layer of the salad that isn't a highly processed ingredient, because after our shredded cabbage layer, it is yet again time for another layer of mayonnaise. And once again, we spread that layer of mayo all over the cabbage as evenly as possible. Then, after this mayo layer, this is where the salad starts to take an interesting turn, because now it's time for our Funyun layer. The wildly popular onion flavored chip that Marshall shares a rather personal connection with. I don't think you can call it a salad if it has Funyuns in it. I'm Funyuns. And one featured in another crazy concoction from the show. Stinson's Hangover Fixer Elixir. So sprinkle on an even layer of Funyuns atop the mayo, and we actually broke up some of the Funyuns so as to create a nice textural contrast with each bite of our seven layer salad. And once our Funyun layer is all finished, it's time for yet another inevitable layer of mayonnaise. So just as we've done four other times now, we will pipe the mayo all over the Funyuns, and then spread out that mayo evenly yet again. And after our fifth mayo layer is complete, it's now time for the gummy bear layer, for which I'm using probably the most ubiquitous brand of gummy bears, Haribo. So we'll go ahead and sprinkle a layer of gummy bears atop this mayonnaise layer. And I gotta say, this gummy bear layer actually ended up being the most visually spectacular one of the bunch, which made it a real shame when I had to cover the gummy bear layer with one final layer of mayonnaise. So one final time, we'll pipe on a layer of mayo, and then we're gonna go ahead and spread that mayonnaise out with our icing spatula. At this point, the hands of both Bailey and I had become extraordinarily greasy from this much contact with mayonnaise, as well as the other fatty foods, like our final seventh layer, the potato chip layer, for which I'm using just your regular everyday classic Lay's potato chips. And now, once we've topped this salad off with our our beautiful layer of chips, it's now time to start our thanks teeny, which begins in a small shaker tin, to which we'll add two ounces of potato vodka, for which I'm using Chopin, and all potato vodka is, is simply vodka distilled from a potato mash, as opposed to something like grains or rice. And now we're gonna add four ounces of cranberry juice. And just like with our Thanksgiving cocktail last year, you wanna make sure that you use 100% cranberry juice, and not cranberry juice cocktail, which is filled with added sugars. Now our our final ingredient will be a bouillon cube, but just as Nick over at Cocktail Chemistry discovered in his Thanks Teeny video you can watch here, simply dropping a bouillon cube into a cocktail will not dissolve it. So we're first going to gently muddle the bouillon cube into our shaker tin with the vodka and cranberry juice, and then we're going to add some ice to our big tin, and lock in our small tin, and give our cocktail a good shake. Then into a chilled martini glass, we are going to double strain our Thanks Teeny, revealing its horrifying Defyingly spectacular bouillon essence, in lieu of which it needs not any garnish. And at long last, your thanks teeny with seven layer salad is finally done. Now there's nothing left to do but to taste it. But you know, this attire I have on just seems a bit too casual for Thanksgiving. If only there was something else I could wear. Suit up! 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 Suit up. Suit up. So I took Barney's advice and suited up. Look at you, you beautiful bastard. You suited up. This is totally going in my blog. And now into this bowl. 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 All that's left to do is grab a few scoops of our seven layer salad. And then of course you have to mix it all together so that you can get a little bit of everything. And then, albeit reluctantly, take a bite. 
And, well, what I will say is on a first taste, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It wasn't until I had to swallow that the coagulation of these fatty foods hit my gullet and instantly triggered a gag reflex. <coughs> That's when the heaves escalated and... Well, I just ralphed. So suffice it to say, unlike Ted Mosby, I am very much not... Vomit free since 93 and I do not recommend making or eating this salad. I suppose unless you really, really like mayonnaise, like my friend Kevin, who I once saw eat mayonnaise straight from the jar. But how does our seven layer salad pair with the thanks teeny? Well, like this salad, the cocktail is equally abhorrent. It's just so wildly salty. It's like a vodka cranberry had a baby with a leftover liquid of a cup of noodles. But you know, compared to the salad, I guess this isn't that bad. But I am realizing now that I probably should have just gone with Marshall's other favorite food. Gouda? So for the first time in our channel's brief history, this pairing is most certainly deserving of two thumbs down. If you like the channel, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Please leave any video suggestions in the comments below. Full recipes will be included in a link in the video description. Follow us on all forms of social media at Consuming Cinema. And don't forget to join us next week when we make a pairing from A Christmas Story. Also, with it being Thanksgiving, and since basically this whole episode was just a big waste of food, I decided to donate what we spent on the episode to Feeding America. And I'll put a link in the description below if you feel like donating anything as well. So please have a happy and safe Thanksgiving, and as always, thank you for watching.